Hello, fun seekers, music lovers, collectors, what have you. Get in here. Um, now you don't no need to set a search party because I'm back. I am here. As uh, and why am I here? And why is any of us here? Uh, um, to step deeper into what I have, and I hope you stick around to see what I I have have. What I have have. And hope you're doing great and great to see you again. And hope you're doing super terrific out there. You know, I know um, you're on your seat wondering when I'll be back, but uh, wonder no more, as they say. I've been, I've been a little busy traveling around, you know. So, okay. Let's get right with it. And as you can read the title, um, we're going to be showing some obscure John Lennon CDs that you may have missed. And so, uh, just show it to you so you don't miss them anymore. So, okay, here we go. Let's jump right into it. Hope everybody's doing super terrific. See? I it in there twice, so make sure you're doing super terrific out there. Okay. Okay, first out of the, the... Can you see me okay? Can you hear me out there? Okay. Um, first one out, out of the... Off is... Um, John Lennon Bedism. This one here. Yes? John Lennon... It was John Lennon Bedism, um, a label Dress to Kill, format, CD, album, unofficial release, uh, release 1999, uh, non-music, uh, interview, uh, described as spoken word, because a lot of this is from the legendary Bedin. Um, that John and Yoko did. See, it has a slip case in it. And it has a postcard. And. Okay. Very good. Okay, moving right along. Next up we got is, da da, John Lennon testimony. Okay, let me get the information I wrote down about this. Okay, right. Uh, the album features. Uh, one of the last interviews given by John Lennon and Yoko Ono. It was recorded at the offices of Griffin Records in New York City as part of the promotion of the Double Fantasy album. The interviewer uh, is Bob uh, Miles, and the interviewee was originally in the interview was originally intended as a as a U.S. A radio broadcast recorded on December 8th, 1980. And um, that's pretty good. Uh, there's, you can hear um, Lennon in his own words um, commenting about the early days of the Beatles and, um, and uh, Bob Miles' inner cuts with his thoughts on, on the interview and, and stuff leading up to uh, meeting him. It's a really good... Um, that's what the CD looks like. Bop, bop. Okay, it's uh, John Lennon testimony, the life and times of John Lennon, and in his own words, a CD label Thunderbolt. Uh, category is CDT B095. 
country it was released in was the UK. The year 1990. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay. And I have to say Okay, this next one, I have, uh, I think Joe showed this, this uh, me, Mr. Mayo showed uh, this one time. Uh, this is um, Instant Karma, um, the all-time greatest hits of John Lennon. Okay, got some notes here I wrote about this. Instant Karma, the all-time greatest hits. Instant Karma, All Time Greatest Hits, a three disc compilation of the music by John Lennon. Okay. Um, is a budget um, release targeted for the sale at uh, warehouse type stores such as Sam's Club and Costco. The album was released in. 2002 by Timeless um, and by Timeless Alive Music uh, under license for Capital and EMI special products. This one entitled The Hits uh, contains songs that were previously released on single. This too, classic rock contains the songs during John's rock and roll sessions as John as well as John Lennon at, um, Blue Suede Shoes and Dizzy Miss Lizzie which were recorded in Toronto. You make it easy. Hmm. This three uh, classic live contained twelve songs recorded live in the New York City um, either in August 1972 uh, with the Elephant Memory Band um, at the Madison Square Garden or in the um, case of Well Baby Please Don't Go with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. Yeah, that's a, that's a, um, that's a good song. Oh, the Mothers of Invention at the Fillmore East um, of June of 1971. Um, 35 songs on the album uh, had been previously released. Okay. Instant Karma uh, all the greatest hits of John Lennon released December 1st 2002 um, song recorded stuff that you get on here what decade okay glad you asked in 1969 to what 1980 okay genre rock uh, label Timeless um, Trade Times All the uh, Alive Music. No, the label was Timeless Traditions Alive Music. I read it wrong, hmm. but that, but that that's a pretty good one. You might have seen that uh, out and about, and if you do, pick that up because it. That's got some pretty good stuff on it. And got two more to show you. Can you hold in there a little bit more? Okay. Um Yeah. Okay, this next one. Um, 
for anyone that that has doubt if there was a soundtrack to the um, the U.S. versus John Lennon um, film, here you go. Uh, the U.S. versus John Lennon. It's it's a soundtrack, obviously. Um, the U.S. versus John Lennon is a soundtrack to the 2006 documentary film *The U.S. versus John Lennon*. It was in um, September uh, 2006, and it peaked at number 19 on the U.S. top charts. Hey, and. Uh, it came out in uh, the 14th of October that year. The U.S. vs. John Lennon soundtrack album by, of course, if we're talking about John Lennon, John Lennon. Released the 25th September of 2006, um, and the recordings on it go from uh, 1968 to 1980. Genre. Well, rock, of course. Um, the label was Parlophone, Capital, and EMI. I'm not sure if, which, I'm, as far as I know, it wasn't released on, on vinyl. I mean, this would be one that'd be screaming for um, vinyl because um, there are a lot of good stuff on it. There's a version of, of Remember on here. Um, Ballad of Johnny Yoko is on here. Uh, I don't know if you can see all that. Hello, hello. Okay. Peace. Oh, uh, give me some truth is on there too. A lot of good. John Lennon uh, tunes on here. And this album seemed like it kind of came and went, but I'm glad this came out around the time the film came out because I bought this at Best Buy. Okay. Last but not least. Um. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is called the John Lennon Collector's Edition. Okay, here we go. It comes in this little tin here. Okay, there's the first. And the little background of this CD here is uh, uh, John Lennon Collector's Edition um, on the Madison Entertainment in association with EMI Music uh, Special Marketing. Uh, the series was the original collector's edition. Um, format 3 CD compilation collector's tin. Uh, right here. And there's in, in the inside is it says Imagine. And uh, it was um, con country um, was released USA and Canada uh, released 2008 genre rock of course and style pop rock and it's a uh, real nice collection there See that? That's some of the stuff. That... Real nice thing. Where's my CD? All right, that's all for now. Thank you all for watching. Come back soon. Don't be late, cause we'll be rocking when you do.